When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Hey guys, welcome to my Sophie Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a column mold from a teeny little guy like this, and we're going to make it over a foot long. Uh, let's see what we can do. <laughs> All right, so I've got lots and lots of soap dough, which is basically soap ends. So um, this is a smaller one. We'll see how well it cuts with some of these thicker pieces. Let's give those another project. Um, I'm also going to be mixing up what I got here. All right, so I want to make it nice and tall. Nice and tall, so I want flattish pieces. So fairly, fairly uniform to make this a little easier. And because it's little, if I get about six inches high, I should be able to double that at least. Now all these other little pieces can be melted down. Um, I'm also going to try coloring them and creating some new little slabs. We'll see how that goes uh, for another little project. Okay, so cookie cutter, just a little, you know, $2 cookie cutter. This is a little bunny, and it's adorable. Yes, you can buy Colin molds, um, but you can't often buy, find the shape that you want, right? So I don't even think there is a bunny shaped column mold out there. I could be wrong, <laughs> but this is easy and it's inexpensive. And uh, if you're interested in learning how I do this. Now these, these can be used by themselves and placed in between bars. If you just it on one side. Sitting moist, the more likely it is to get DOS because that's what happens when you have excessive water with oils is they will go rancid. So if you can get your soap nice and dry, it will last a lot longer. I have been playing with chelators, so uh, you know, stay tuned for that. Chelators are different salts that help us to uh, not have soap scum left behind from using our soap, which is always nice. And a lot of commercial soap makers do use chelators. I haven't yet. Well, I have a sample going right now. Of course, the second my chemicals came in, I had to try them. I had to try them out to see what this was all about. I have so many things I want to show you guys, but I want to pace myself because I've had <laughs> complaints that there's too much content and I can't keep up and I want to see it all. So we'll just we'll pace ourselves. So yeah, I'm going to get a nice 12 inch in no time at all, I think. And since this is a fairly simple design, you could use these for the tops of your sofas in bits too. Um, you don't have to make column molds with this technique. Cookie cutters are really versatile. As long as your soap is malleable, you're going to want to keep that flat. You could use the cutouts. Ooh, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. Let's see if I can do that again with some of these bigger pieces and put them away. <laughs> Make a, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see if I can do that. i got to do it in the right direction. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work because you have to cookie cutter through. Isn't they're lined up. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Never say never. <laughs> ah! Two projects in one. Talk about multitasking. I think if you had a piece of paper. It might work a little better than your than another soap dough. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
never have enough bunnies. Not bunny suits. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. same size. I swear they're going to be basically the same general orientation. So this is, as for those of you who are wondering how my mind works, it just, you know, it's constantly coming up with new <laughs> ideas as I go. Um, I am in mindless soaping mode, and because I'm recording it, I don't have to worry. I know I can look back at what I did, and if it turned out really cool, I can do it again. And you guys can do it too. Okay, so those are lined up. So I'm sort of making something fun. Let's see. Might be fun, might be dumb. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. So, this is kind of thick. I think I'll save that for another one. There's some little ones. Uh, these ones are really old, so I'm not sure if they're going to... Oh, they cut. Like, I let my soap dough up to six months. I don't make it fresh for that project the day before. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I think... Just a couple more of these big, thick ones. We'll be set. Oh, wow. That was really thick. If I can get this one out. Jesus. So cute. And one more. I should have enough for a nice big loaf of soap. I've got another color of soap right there. Just take that off. That was cinnamon soap. Now you're going to want to keep your soap dough projects from drying out. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with that or not, but it might be fun. There is a design that I'm <laughs> wanting to work on. I think I put that one in there too. Let's see. The cookie cutter shades. Let's see, did I get any more? Did I tear them all up? Little beauty. I think I'm just going to put them in random places of a mosaic and see what happens. A funny mosaic. My soap all has angora in it, so the feather, the, the feathers of the angora rabbit, <laughs> the, uh, the fur of the angora rabbit, because I brush my bunnies. For those of you who think that's cool, uh, if I didn't brush my bunnies, they would die. So, not brushing them and then wasting them. I have to work water. on my honey bunny soap. Honey bunny, I washed the kids' soap. <laughs> Gee, that wasn't at all like what I'm, fragrance I'm using, is it? So, I'm making this for a custom order. They wanted the fragrance and a more intricate design. So, that's what I'm doing. And this has been 
sitting overnight and hopefully the silicone will trap if it doesn't melt this top um, all of the moisture inside and we'll get a more fluid pour well let's see okay after 30 seconds so far so good this is not hot so I can't let it work you could also put this bag in boiling water which summary batch um, companies who sell their soap do recommend Voyager and I think Brambleberry sell rebatch soap if you want to do um, handmade soap rather than handmade cold process soap rather than the glycerin melt and pour. Or you can use your leftovers like me and recreate. So I'm going to get another 30 seconds and we'll be right back. Okay, once again, we're getting very fluid. Still got quite a few big chunks in there, so I'm just smooshing these with my hands. And I'm not gonna open it up until I'm ready to take a stick blender to it. And I think I should be able to do a stick blender in this little container to smoosh everything up really good because it is made out of silicone. And silicone's awesome durable. All right, so let's do another 30 seconds. So we've got one minute so far and it's really, really soft. Just about all the lumps are gone. If you want me to make soap for you, I can, if you want to buy my soap dough. Um, so let me know in the description box below whether I should add it to my shop or not. Again, it would be a custom order and there would be minimum order requirements. All right. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds. It's not too hot to handle. Like I can just do this with my hands and it doesn't feel hot. There's some warm spots, but no super hot spots. So I don't feel uncomfortable working this baby with my hands. I almost feel like I should be able to just get in there and smoosh it. It's like one of those, those, um, you know, those animals with the eyeballs that bulge out. Okay, let's see if we can do it. <laughs> okay 30 seconds more and I'll bring you right back okay I think we're ready for the big reveal now I know I put my hand blender while I worry to get it aha, 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 aha. so we've got this ready and we'll do the big reveal in just a moment. Now the color I'm going to be using is Prample Berries Orange of Unknown Variety. <laughs> I'd have to check out my order history. But here's what it looks like. We're just gonna use a little bit to make it look more like honey. So we're not really going for orange, just a little bit of yellow. Um, but I like that, the, the little bit of red in there. That's really, really pretty. And that's what I wanna do. We're also gonna be covering it with the um, bee um, bubble wrap, the fancy fancy. And again, the fragrance we're using is Honey Bunny from Nature's Garden. Okay. okay. I'm gonna use a good portion of that. I want it nice and strong. I've got our embeds ready to go, so I'm going to pull them out. These are our bunnies. I can make a couple of batches of these. I think I'm just going to do one for this batch. Unless, unless, let's see, this might actually be better. We could do... One of um, Stephanie's tall ones. Let me put them together the right way. Yeah, I think we'll do that. 
And then we can, I can do another little short one in my one pound mold if I want to. So we'll just set those there. And I'll get this washed and come right back. All right, I don't know what happened. My camera did weird things. If uh, we're going to blend now. <laughs> things are going on here. <laughs> oh, don't get your fingers in there. <laughs> I think it needs some warm up a little bit more. Right color. <laughs> Still pretty chunky stuff though. So I'm gonna warm it up a little bit more. Add a wee bit more water. Let's see if that helps. And I'm not gonna hit my pause button again because when I did that I lost half my footage. So shake you down, baby. Shake, shake, shake you down. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's kind of a lot of mess for <laughs> I hope this works. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh, it's super liquidy now. Maybe I just needed another thirty seconds. Like practically water. Let's see what happens. This is messy kitchen soaping today. soap in here than I This is like fluid fluid, almost like cold process fluid. Wow. Uh, I would say that's a success. We'll see how it shapes up in the soap. Let's start pouring. Look how fluid that is, guys. Let's put in the honey bunnies. Make sure I'm lining them up right. I love the color. 
I may have got something going here. I don't know. This is super fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put those on. And hopefully it'll be flat. And I'll bring you back for the cut on my honey bunny who washed the kids soap <laughs> honey bunny did you wash the kids soap <laughs> all right if you enjoyed this please click like and subscribe and come on back for the cut all righty let's finish this custom order it's a little sticky still it is rebatch though i may have to pop this in the freezer no, it's going to let go. I went a little crazy with the, the liquids on this one, but I think it's ready to come out. I hope it's ready to come out. I'm ready to play with it. Oops. Maybe I can get it out. It's stuck. Come on, gravity, be my friend. Thank you. All right, <laughs> it is a little sticky, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it because uh, I need to get it drying. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna cut off that last little bit there. And, and there we have it. Honey Bunny, did you wash the kids? <laughs> I'm going to keep that little one. Just so I know that it... That the, okay, we're going to make these a wee bit bigger. Because these are going to shrink and I want them to be a decent sized bar. Let's see if that's good. That's good. There we go. So I hope you watch enjoyed watching me rebatch a new way. Um, of course, we use the cookie cutters again for an embed, which is super fun, and just about everybody can afford that. Even if you can't afford like a column mold, or you're not particularly gifted in the um, soap molding capacity, you can use a cookie cutter. <laughs> Most of us can, anyway. Here we got five and nice size bars of soap. Let me smell. Mmm. That is a pretty good dupe. All right. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. Um, and if you want a custom order like this one, just give me a ring and we'll set it up and we'll talk about what you want to do. All right. Bye for now. All right. So I thought these needed just a little more juge. So we're going to put some Eco Glitter Holographic Gold. I mean, I like them, but have a little more shush. I just do. And it's not a pretty one. That is a pretty, 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 pretty. Now, these are still wet, but I'm going to spritz them with a little alcohol just to help this stick a little better. And I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and glitter from here to there, here and there. Not much. Just enough to give it a little gild of the lily, so to speak. Oh, like that, like that splash. I don't want it all over, I just want, oh, <laughs> I did a few places like that one, but 
I quite like that. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough before I cover everybody in glitter. <laughs> Bye for now. Actually, I like that so much I did them all that way. So we got a nice little zhuzh on each one and it'll last a little longer. All right, bye for now. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done.